Hello everyone! So this is already the end of the summer in the mountains and to be well prepared for the colder season to come I've been picking lots of medicinal herbs that we will dry for the winter and Travis has been working endless hours on the transformation and repair of our house balcony I personally find that picking wild food in nature is one of the most satisfying, nurturing and healing hobbies. I forgot I had gathered some sage, so I'm going to dry them on another tray. And I found some mushrooms I forgot I had. Little blue balls. So this will prevent them from flying away. And I have here some metal and some monarda, some of the evolved that are already dry, so I'm gonna bring them inside and put it in our tea collection. A home was built in 1972 with trees that were harvested on our land. It is very unique as you can see and very pretty and the main structure is still very solid. Although there are some features around the house that need to be rebuilt or taken down. And it's the case of the second floor balcony behind our home. Due to age and snow load it has started to pull off of the building so we are working on taking it down. I was about to take this off, but I think that that's holding that corner and possibly a lot of that leverage. Yeah, did you see how far the balcony is now? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's like... It's very close to coming off. I'm looking because of this, the kitchen window I was a little concerned about, mm. but the pivot point of that diagonal is going to pitch it down if anything, it would come down and hit this, and this is all super solid. Um, there's no windows or anything to break below it, so. I think what I'm gonna do is start building the railing here, mm -hmm. 
so I can cross tie this member to here and as well as uh, down here I've got a couple of boards I can use for that mm -hmm. and then um, by tying this to this then this is going to be connected and then I can start to disconnect more of this because I didn't want this to fall I think that this is literally just you know it, it, I need to I need to tie this here and here okay. so that way this corner is uh, locked in mm -hmm. and uh, and then I can start to take a couple more of these pieces off and really just release that to go whenever the time comes. All right. Um, and then I'm going to put a board across here and a board across here and one more in here and then uh, we'll have uh, all of those boards that I took down off the stairs to go here. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have this whole deck section. Okay. Awesome. That's okay. nice. I like it. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I was going to just close it off there, but I'm like, you know, this is underneath the lid. And yeah. it's actually a really nice area to have more wood. So. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. We've got a bunch of puffballs here. So one thing we've been doing now for the second year is to plant potatoes in old cardboard boxes. And the reason why we do that is because we haven't built raised bed yet. And we happen to have some beautiful potatoes from the farmer's market that had sprouted. So we just, again this year, found some good soil and decided to plant them. And we actually got a couple of pounds out of that, like probably 20 pounds out of these four boxes. So that's something that you can do if you use boxes to pack up your stuff in a healthy grocery store, for instance, and you want to use them for some reason, this is one way you can do it.
but you could go down to the pond and around there. Mm -hmm. Only if it rains. Hello everyone. So we're taking a little break from working outside the house because it has been like an ongoing task. <laughs> well, task. Do I say that? Kind of. It has been an ongoing task since a couple of days because we have a balcony to break down and uh, Travis has been working a lot on that. And it kind of brings the subject of simplicity today because as you can see, we live in a very simple environment and you've seen a little bit through our videos that the outside also is quite simple in itself and that's actually something that we really embrace i mean simplicity in where we live but also simplicity in i guess life. In, in life and i guess in our actions also and there's a beautiful story that travis will tell about this home so when i originally bought the property almost 18 years ago now um the realtor told me that the cabin should just be swiped off of the property uh, there was a pre-approved building site and architecturally engineered uh, plans for a 6,000 square foot house to be built right here where we're sitting. And, uh, you know, I, I looked at it as a gem in the rough. I'm like, no way. This is a beautiful structure. It's totally has value. It needs some love and care, you know, gem in the rough as it is. Um, but uh, but has a tremendous amount of potential and here we are 18 years later loving it you know so comfortable that this is what we have yeah it's a 1265 uh, square foot square foot <laughs> square foot home so not that big but not too small neither so when Travis and I started being together and I moved here from Canada previously I had been traveling the world backpacking the world for five years and I live in so many different places uh, that were quite modest, if I can say. And a part of me was quite scared to settle down because I was not attracted into being in a big home with like lots of material. This was actually something that was not resonating at all with me. So when I arrived here and Travis and I, we were clearly in a relationship that I knew would last. But when I moved into the house, I was so pleased to see the simplicity of it. I was so happy to just have a home where it was still rough in some ways and raw. Like if you put your hands on the wall, you will have slivers because it's raw material. And I don't know, I feel like it keeps me, it keeps us, I guess, very alive and very connected to our environment and- Keeps us from becoming too domesticated. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It kind of keeps you active in some ways. There are like little things to take care of the house. We still have all the comfort that we need. We have a good bed, we have a roof over our head, but sometimes maybe the pipes will freeze during winter. So it's little things to take care of. But at the same time, there's something so welcoming and so homey in here. And every time we get, we have guests coming over, it's just a place where you feel like relaxing. You feel like dropping in and having deep conversation and just connecting and just for a moment, taking the time to be present so I find that this environment really suits our needs and really there's nothing more I need. No, we have each other. We have yeah. simplicity. We really both embrace that. And we're grateful to cut our firewood and create our own mm -hmm. heat and, uh, you know, learn every day more and more how to feed ourselves from the land and be connected with Mother Nature so much opulence that's right here available for us when we choose to tap into that. Yeah, and I guess that's also a part of the, a life in the mountains. It keeps you quite humble because when the, when the wind is blowing very strong and the house is shaking, you feel very tiny. And when it's snowing so much that you cannot even get out of the, your home for three days, but again, it kind of keeps you humble in some ways and makes you appreciate what you have. I guess that's why you've been living here for so long. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for being with us on this journey. It means yeah. a lot. All your comments and your presence. Really, we're so pleased just to see this community growing every day. And we want to thank you. Yeah, please. If you have any questions or any particular content that you'd like us to speak about, 
or make an offering on. We're totally engaged. We read all of the comments and respond. So love to hear from you all. If you like what we're creating, please like and subscribe and hit that bell icon if you'd like to be notified when we offer new content. And remember to look at the community section as well on the main page because we're offering some blog there as well. Yeah, thank you. So yeah. good to be with you. Much love to you all. Love you all. Yeah. Say so. <laughs> Say so. <laughs>
recycling. Yeah, nice. Mm. And then, I mean, that's pretty close. <laughs> I was even thinking I might be able to strap onto that corner beam right there. Mm -hmm. And then just pull that thing and that whole thing will probably come off. Yeah. I used a couple of new screws on the whole project, but other than that, it's all recycled screws and material. That's fantastic. That's a green building for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So here is the result of what Travis built. He reused all the stairs. Like you see the planks are there. It was the stairs leading up to that platform that we will remove today or tomorrow because it's attached to the balcony that is falling off and this balcony anyway has been condemned for many years. So we're just gonna remove that structure. It's now detached from the balcony. So if ever it falls by itself, it's not gonna break down like everything we have built that Travis has built. So it's all reused uh, material from the stairs, even the ramp and everything. So this is the place where we will add more wood for winter so we can store, because we already have this storage here. But since there's a roof above, over this part of the balcony, instead of just closing it, like when we remove the stairs, Trav decided to make something bigger, more space for our wood. And this is a magnificent day outside. You can still feel the humidity in the air from the big rain yesterday. And we also yesterday finalized the wood that had to be cut, chopped, and stacked. So we now have almost two layers of wood. So this is the state of the deck right now. As you can see, it's <laughs> not so solid anymore. 
So the last step, well, one of the last step was to disconnect that post. Whoa! <laughs> and this will be transformed into firewood. Trying to avoid that. Yes. <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. So the stairs got down. And what we did is that through the kitchen window that is there, uh, like the stairs that were hanging, like Travis pushed on it just a little bit and it fell. It's smashing all our raspberry bushes, but they will grow back next year so it's opening the view a lot from the kitchen actually it's gonna it's beautiful i like it we just have to find a solution for the rest of the balcony now good work hey wonder <laughs> so this is what we still have to get down as you can see it's pretty it's leaning towards the ground Let's see how we're going to do that. Well, big project. Wow. <laughs> Big project. Well, that was something. <laughs> So all this material from the balcony will be broken down and we will eventually use it either to build raised bed gardens or other structures around the house. I think it can get out very easily. It looks like it's hanging just... Careful, it just is full of nails. Oh. Good. Right up, what are we eating tonight? We are eating a beautiful wild mushroom risotto. 
that I am super grateful to my lovely wife for making. Mm. The awesome chef that she is. Mm. Let me see that. It looks good. We also used the zucchini from our friend's garden. And there, and some amaranth leaves that we foraged today. Bon appétit! Merci! Maybe. 